Hi guys. Well, I guess another night in hell begins. Another night in hell begins. It is now a six o'clock in the evening on a six o'clock in the evening on a Tuesday night. That would be November 29th, 2022. And uh, as these uh, <laughs> seven foot by seven foot walls then begin closing in around me and squeezing my fucking brains out of my head and facing December of 2022, which will, <laughs> will truly be uh, the, the, the next month. Uh, I've already got one. Yeah, there's 30 days, half November. We have one more day in November, the never ending November. And uh, just the, the very thought, the very thought of enduring the month of December uh, in my little, uh, my little comfortable little prison that we carved out of this beat up, trashed out, moldy old tool shed turn into this tiny house, this tiny house closing in on me. Good God, it is, I haven't even made it through November. But, uh, <laughs> I've had some time to think here in, uh, in, in, in the tiny house, and, and there's no better place, you know, just to sit here for hours on end. It is I have not seen the sun since Saturday, since that gorgeous day we had on Saturday. Uh, and uh, just waking up morning after morning after morning to these gray fucking skies and these bare trees and this uh, cold wind blowing and just day after day it's supposed to rain all fucking day tomorrow. So it's given me plenty of time to think about the state of the planet and the state of my mind and uh, I don't know how to it, it, explain the state of my mind right now. And weirdly enough, it's not, it's not, well, yet anyway, I would not actually describe what I'm experiencing right now as depression. It's just a, you know, I, I guess I'm just, it's a resignation. Maybe I'm just finally reaching the, the the state of acceptance that I am completely fucked, that the human race is completely fucked, that, that this entire planet is completely fucked. You know, I've known it about the planet and the human race, but, but somehow I've been, uh, I've been hanging on to this fantasy that something was going to change in my own puny little teeny weeny life and uh, just waking up to the reality of, of what, you know, what my fucking life is. I'm growing older each day with all these fucking aches and pains. It's fucking tooth, you know, that uh, that broken half this summer uh, is throbbing. Uh, I know that I have to deal, have to go get this fucking tooth pulled. Uh, as Brother Alistair knows, I've totally fucked up my right elbow now. I have, I, I, this is how much flexibility I have in my right elbow. Of course, my right shoulder 
Uh, it has been fucked up since the, the Christmas tree lot. I've got this goddamn, what do you call it, sciatica in, in my leg. You know, it, it, it just goes fucking on and on. And, and I know that these goddamn little aches and pains, they're not going away. Uh, there, there's just going to be more and more of them. Uh, you know, with every day I grow older and my body starts to fucking fall apart. Watching the little dog start to grow old and get gray hair just like me. He's got his own aches and pains to deal with. You know, and then, uh, you know, and on top of it all, uh, those of you who tune into that little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles, Sam Mitchell, you probably know that I have stumbled in to this uh, outfit that's been out there apparently ever since I have been in the Doomosphere. There has been this website called medium.com. I mean, with the boring name of medium.com. Been out there all of these years, and uh, never really heard of it. I guess it was Umer Hack, who uh, you know got he he writes for this uh, this outfit, and uh, so I got paywalled out of Umer. So anyway, they had this big sale, which I think is for one more day. So anyway, I signed up paid my goddamn $25 annual subscription, you know, thinking, I mean, I'm, I already get Manga Bay every week, and uh, I, I'm on, in the Center for Biological Diversity, and uh, World Wildlife Fund, and, and, and all of this crap. I just thought this was going to be one of these things. You know, I, I didn't really know what I was signing up for. And, uh, and, and, and so they send me this goddamn thing called the Daily Digest. And so every day now, every day, I open up my computer. This is for the last three days. And what the first thing I am confronted with every fucking day, and I guess it will be every day for the next year, is, uh, is just this... This fucking, uh, good God, just this tsunami of doom and gloom. You know, talking about how fucked we are. I, I had some, uh, I guess I just did not understand uh, how many people were out there, been out there writing about how fucked we are. And, and you know, I only recognize a few of these names. <coughs> uh, there's hundreds, if not thousands, uh, of people just on this one, uh, on this one outfit. Uh, you know, just writing about that we're fucked. Uh, the planet's fucked. Humans are fucked. Uh, you're fucked. I'm fucked. Uh, your kids, your grandkids, uh, everybody is fucked on this planet. Uh, every living creature, every ecosystem. And uh, good fucking God. And uh, it, it would take me... If I just sat there and, and read the one article in the Digest, and then, of course, every fucking article you open up, then they're sitting there recommending 10, you know, with links to 10 more articles. And it, and it just has a, it, it, it just fucking mushrooms uh, into Methuselah. And, and, and uh, you just go, my God. And uh, it, you could spend, it would take all fucking day just to read, you know, the, the list of articles, not counting going down all the rabbit holes they lead you into. And uh, 
one thing I'm already figuring out, you know, I'm checking out all of these new writers, and, and, a, and there's a few of them, you know, obviously Umer Hack and uh, Jessica Wildfire, a couple of others who just write about doom, who, who just write about how fucked we are. Now, there are quite a few people uh, writing about climate change. Uh, you know, specifically about climate change. There's a handful of them. There's a handful of doomers uh, who understand that climate climate change is one small part of how fucked we are. Uh, but it seems like so. You know, what you do is you you click on the on the author. And then what comes up is, if you click on the author, is a list of every one of their uh, columns they have ever written for Medium. And, and what becomes pretty apparent, at least what I've found, with I've probably looked in 30 or 40 of these different writers, is that the vast majority of them you know, they, they do an article or two about doom, about how fucked we are. And then they write about other things. They, they don't, they, they're, they're not just locked in to how fucked we are. It's like, you know, every, every three to six months, they say, oh yeah, we're fucked. And, uh, and so, like, every three to six months, they decide to write an article about how fucked we are. And, 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 and then they're just writing about all of the other uh, things that have nothing to do exactly, you, you know, with, with all of, uh, you know, directly with the collapse of everything. But just basically about uh, how, how fucked, j just how fucked we are. I, I'm, I'm not talking from a, yes, from a social or environmental, ecological perspective, just, just how fucked people are. And, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the themes, major themes, if you go over there to Collapse Chronicles, where that little eco pussy reads one, one of the the themes, recurring themes that um, that you see in these, uh, I'll call them non-doomer doomers. Uh, you know uh, what they do is like this fellow I'd never heard of, and, and this was the only article he had on the subject. Was okay. We understand we're fucked. And there's not a fucking thing to do about it. There's not a goddamn thing that you, I, anybody's going to do about it. We're going down the fucking toilet. Everybody fucking knows it. There's not a fucking thing that is going to change the situation. There's not a goddamn thing uh, that, that is going to change the fucking situation. And so, if you understand that, then, then why do you bother obsessing over it? This kind of this, I would say, my sister is in uh, is in this school. Uh, you know, she, m my dear sweet sister, she doesn't argue with me. Uh, it's just like, okay. Uh, Okay, dude, I agree with you. We are completely fucked. Uh, there's not a fucking thing uh, that anybody's going to do about it. I'm fucked. My daughters are fucked. My granddaughters are fucked. Uh, we're all fucked. Uh, it, it, it's not a matter of if. It's only a matter of when. I'm not arguing with you. But why the fuck do you keep just just going back to it and dwelling on it? I, I, I mean, once you fucking understand how fucked you are, you know? And so then I said, okay, 
all right, I get it. I, I, I'm, I'm fucked. Uh, there's not a fucking thing. There, one article I read today was called We Are So Fucked. No, we're, is it, we're fucked. We're all fucked. We're so fucked. I, I, anyway, uh, you'll find plenty of these articles on there. So I, I, I had fun. I, I spent like three fucking hours this morning reading these things over and over again. Uh, you know, with the same basic theme. We're fucked. There's nothing you're going to fucking do about it. Move on with your fucking life. And I'm thinking, my fucking God, uh, I got to get the fuck out of here. I, you know, I need to go over to the goddamn mainstream media uh, to get out of the fucking uh, echo chamber of the Doomosphere. And that's what it is. You know, I, my buddy Mike Sleva is the first one who introduced me. Uh, you know, Mike Sleva used to be, a, you know, real big down here in the Doomosphere. And he just, he just cashed it in. How long ago did Mike? five or six years ago, he was just done with it. And he goes, hey, bud, you know, what the fuck? How many ways can you say we're fucked? And uh, he just walked away from it. From the echo chamber of the doomosphere. Uh, all, all of these doomers sitting there just talking to each other. Hey, do you understand we're fucked? Really? We're fucked? You're kidding. Oh, okay, I get it. We're fucked. Why don't we talk about how fucked we are every fucking day for the rest of our fucking lives? You know, there's only so many ways you can get up and say 2 plus 2 equals 4. Imagine opening up, uh, having a fucking daily digest of 2 plus 2 equals 4. Every fucking day for the rest of your fucking life, you, you, you go in there and you open up your email, and, and there's 20 articles saying 2 plus 2 equals 4. Spread the word! So I go over, uh, you might, you can hear that eco pussy, you know, when I'm wrapping up uh, the rant today and saying that he's going to go over there to uh, the mainstream media, See, you know, to find something to cheer him up, like some fucking, uh, you know, murder or whatever. You know, where, where's a goddamn serial killer uh, when you need one to take your fucking mind off how fucked we are? So I go over there to the mainstream media, and, and, and uh, it didn't take long, uh, you, you know, uh, with, with all, of, you know, trying to steer around all of these fucking distractions about fucking Kanye West and Nick Fuentes. Never heard. I actually believe Donald Trump on this Nick Fuentes thing. For once, I believe uh, Donald Trump. I don't think Donald Trump knew who the fuck Nick Fuentes was. I had never fucking heard of Nick Fuentes. I don't think Donald Trump has ever heard of fucking Abraham Lincoln. You know, it didn't surprise me at all uh, that Donald Trump uh, had never heard of, I'd never heard of the motherfucker in my entire life. You give me 10,000 fucking dollars, am I? Who the fuck is Nick Fuentes? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. So I, you know, you get around all of that. And, uh, and, and it doesn't take long, and so just somewhere in the middle of all of this fucking distraction about uh, Herschel Walker and uh, Nick Fuentes and uh, whatever, I, uh, there, there's this story about, uh, about some fucking trailer trash, some godforsaken hellhole, probably... Uh, was it Arkansas or somewhere? But basically, the story was this: that there is the, the you know I can only imagine. Uh, I'm sure it was some fucking rat infested uh, fucking trailer. Uh, you know, uh, who the hell knows? They didn't have a picture of of where this went down. But so. What happened was there is this 22-year-old woman. She was seven months pregnant. 
and I guess this happened, was it Saturday? So what happened is her, uh, I guess it was her boyfriend, who the fuck knows whether he was the father of this, I'm sorry, did I say that? She was seven months pregnant. This 22-year-old clueless fucking bitch, uh, you know, who had no fucking business uh, bringing a child into this world, uh, no fucking business, living in some fucking hellhole, living a, a life of God knows the, the tragedy I'm sure this fucking woman w w was living in. And uh, so, anyway, that this dude... Uh, some 21-year-old dude, uh, maybe it was her boyfriend, maybe it was the father of this kid. Anyway, uh, I guess he shows up there on Saturday and, and just basically spends the entire day beating her to death. I mean, it's not like he, you know, he kicked the fucking door in at 9 o'clock in the morning and, and, and went in there and fucking killed her. He, he slowly, methodically, over the course of the day, beat her to a bloody fucking pulp until he killed her. Uh, I, I mean, he killed her. Uh, obviously, the uh, seven-month-old baby, uh, the, the seven, uh, whatever you call that thing, uh, inside her, that thing died. And uh, But what the story was about was not so much about the actual murder. Is that in the fucking trailer, there were two other people there. In their 40s, there was this couple in their 40s, the roommates of the 22-year-old. So they were like in their room, and it's come out or whatever anyway, but apparently this beating was taking place eight feet away from them over a period of eight hours. And the woman... Uh, was, uh, you know, was screaming for fucking help. Like, the motherfucker is going to kill me type shit. She's sitting there getting the shit kicked out of her for hours. And these, and the, and these two clueless motherfuckers in their 40s were in the next room and sat there. And sat there and listened to their 22-year-old roommate uh, get the, the shit uh, beat out of her until she and the unborn baby were fucking dead. Never stopped, you know, never tried to break it up. They never picked up their fucking cell phone. Uh, called 911. They sat right there in their fucking room next to uh, next to uh, where this was happening. Uh, I'm sure you know, completely strung out on fucking drugs. Uh, you know, uh, I mean that just is a natural assumption. Never fucking contacted anybody. It was finally one of the neighbors was hearing this shit. It, it, so it was a neighbor who, who, you know, going by outside heard this shit. Called the fucking cops. So by the time the cops got there, the fucking, uh, the, the woman's dead, blood all over the fucking place, uh, the unborn baby is dead, and they find this fucking couple in the fucking trailer. And they arrested, so they arrested the couple, you know, the, the couple in their 40s for committing the crime of, of basically not calling the cops. And uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm reading this story and there's like 2,000 comments to it, uh, you know, about how tragic it, it was. And, and my comment, uh, which you better, which obviously was never published, is uh, said it sounds to me like the best thing that could have ever happened. 
to the woman and that baby. Best thing that could have happened to that fucking unborn child was his father, if that's who the hell this fucking scumbag was. You know, it didn't have to be born into this. You know, putting that 22-year-old, uh, obviously, to end up in that position, seven months pregnant, unmarried, living in some fucking hellhole, uh, getting the shit kicked out of you by some fucking scumbag while your goddamn roommate's in the room next door uh, sitting there and don't give a fuck uh, enough whether you're dead or alive to, to fucking pick up a phone and call 911. Because I'm sure they didn't want the fucking cops showing up. You know, and it just really that that fucking story. So I read that, and I said, you know, uh, this fucking life. It just is the you know, and it just got me on, and I've just been uh, so I just went there. I I just I just had to shut the fucking computer down, and I'm sitting here with the fucking walls closing in on me. And I, I went inside and fried a fucking chicken uh, just to, uh, you know, to try to get my brain uh, out of this fucking toxic shit. Uh, and, and just thinking, uh, just thinking about fucking humans and just the absolute fucking pointlessness. And, 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 and it's just... Just all day long, you know, looking around uh, these four fucking walls and, and, and just thinking how completely pointless, you know, they, you know how the mainstream media does, calling it a senseless, they love that word, senseless act of violence. I love when they say brutally murdered. Brutally murdered. Well, okay. I guess there's uh, other ways that, that aren't so brutal to murder somebody other than stomping their fucking head into the floor. Brutally murdered. This senseless, pointless uh, act of violence. These words, senseless and pointless. It's all fucking senseless. It's all fucking pointless. I mean, it's completely pointless. There is absolutely no point to my fucking life right now. My life is senseless and pointless, and so is yours. You know, there is absolutely zero point to my fucking existence right now. No point to it. Never has been. Uh, there never has been any point to my fucking existence. Uh, you know, how many times have I said, uh, you know, my mother says she uh, never intended uh, to have me. It's just that uh, my son of a bitch father forced her to have me. Uh, or I never would have been born. Ugh, Jesus. And uh, it, it's just, you know, 63 years uh, of, uh, of, of just an, an absolute senseless, pointless existence. And, and, and here I am, 63 fucking years, you know, looking back over 63 fucking years, and here I am sitting in a converted, beat-up old tool shed. So finally, I just say, uh, you know, my head was fucking exploding. So uh, I headed out into the fucking 35 degree heat to go nail some fucking boards up, uh, you know, onto the side of a tiny house. I'm up there freezing my fucking ass off, uh, you know, up there in the goddamn woods, freezing my fucking ass off. Uh, putting fucking boards on the side of a shitter. 
because this is the highest and best use of my time. The highest and best use of my time after 63 years on this fucking planet is to sit there and, and tack some fucking boards up to the side of a fucking shitter that no one's even going to shit in for the next six months. It makes no fucking difference. The fucking outhouse can just fucking sit there with no wall. It doesn't make any fucking difference uh, whether that fucking outhouse uh, sits up there for the next six fucking months with walls on it or not. You know? But just to get the fuck out of here. Then, of course, it's too fucking dark to work. I mean, I was already fucking freezing. My goddamn elbow uh, was fucked up. My shoulder was fucked up. And the fucking tooth is throbbing. And my fucking fingers are frozen. My toes are fucking frozen. Uh, I'm, I'm up there, uh, you know, tromping uh, back and forth, putting these fucking boards up on a fucking shitter. You know... That's what I've accomplished. But at least I accomplished them. I got 20 boards. I got 20 boards on the side of that shitter. That's what I have accomplished since Saturday. Since Saturday, I have put up 20 boards on the side of a shitter that no one is going to shit in for the next six months. This is the point of my existence. And, uh, and good fucking God, looking at, the, uh, looking at the extended weather forecast. There's no fucking way that I'm stepping out of this shit all place tomorrow. Rain coming in. I mean, it's going to be a nasty fucking end of November. Then, then uh, I, I think the high... On uh, on the on December, I think it's 34 is the fucking high uh, uh, on the first day of December. Uh, you know, it, it is literally, literally going to be the darkest month of my entire life. I will spend more hours in darkness in the month of December than I have in any month since the day I was born. Now, I understand there's millions and millions, probably a billion people, uh, the fucking Yankees, uh, who, who do this shit every winter. I'm telling you, it's the fucking, it's, it's the fucking daylight. It, 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 as much as this cold weather. This fucking sun going down at 4.30. You know, it's, it's goddamn 6 o'clock. I mean, sitting, I got six fucking hours to kill with my thumb up my fucking ass. You, you know. There's no fucking point to it. it it's just, uh, I, I mean, humans... Uh, uh, you know, it wouldn't be so bad, uh, you know, just how pointless we are, but just, uh, you know, what humans have done, when, when, you, when you add in the layer uh, of what humans have done to this fucking planet, and then, you, and then over that layer, uh, the, the fucking ecological devastation we have wrought on this planet... Uh, as we annihilate every one of our fellow earthlings off the face of this planet, and it's been for nothing. It's been a senseless act of violence going back 300,000 years. A pointless, senseless act of violence. That's what human history is. It, it, it is a reign of brutal murder and terror for nothing. 
so what? So we can uh, so we can tack some fucking boards up to the side of a shitter. You know, absolute, uh, d d d d just fucking inexcusable. Just this, the, the pointlessness, the senselessness of, uh, of, of 300,000 years. Now I'm out of fucking liquor. So I have to get up tomorrow. The only thing getting me out of this fucking house tomorrow is to go to the motherfucking liquor store. And I'm going to walk in there to that fucking liquor store. And, and that goddamn little Christmas music is going to be going everywhere you fucking go. Go to fucking Habitat for Humanity. I love the name, the ironic name, Habitat for Humanity. That fucking Christmas jingle shit is going to be going on. I'm going to go to the fucking liquor store. Uh, th that fucking jingly little shit is going to be going on. Probably have to go to fucking Wegmans to buy some goddamn limeade, that, that fucking little jingle bell shit uh, it, 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 it is going to be going on everywhere I fucking go, be running in to, to this fucking Christmas music. Got my little $1.50 poinsettia. <laughs> oh, God. You know, the, it, not only it's one thing that the poinsettia is going to end up in the fucking landfill, but you got the plastic uh, little flower pot going to the landfill, the uh, purple foil going to the landfill. Another fucking pointless, senseless holiday season. <sighs> And as that, uh, whoever that fellow was writing, writing that article, we're so fucked, I think is the name of it, we're so fucked, I think, or we're all fucked, and as he closes his article with, but at least we deserve it. I'm going to go watch a rom-com on Netflix. Yes, little dog. Where's it, Pop? What are you ranting about over there? I'm in a nice, comfortable bed. Got a full belly of food. Get back to your pointless, useless existence now. Bye, guys.